Hi, this is Tim. In this video, I'm going to show you one of our custom control panels. Each panel we build that has some type of custom functionality gets a video like this made. Now, they're not shot for angles. They're not shot to really teach anything. It's really just to show the customer that they're getting the functionality that they're looking for. But I thought they'd be good examples to people who are looking to build control panels or have an idea and they're not exactly sure how to develop it. So let's go ahead and hit play on this one. I have the motor lead wired to a pigtail, which I've got hooked to a voltmeter right now. But start, we'll start the motor. Stop, we'll turn it off. Then the first two terminals over here are where you'll want to connect a dry contact to signal the PLC. Now when I connect the jumper across here, you'll see the number one light up here. And that's how you'll know you're getting a signal from your external source. And then you'll see Output 1 down here is the first solenoid valve, and output 2 is the second solenoid valve. So right now I have it set so it'll pause for a second, then it'll turn the first output on for two seconds, then it'll pause for three seconds, then it'll turn the second output on for four seconds. So I'll let off of that again and touch it. Then it won't repeat. You'll have to take the con you have to jump her back off and hit it again for it to do it again. And it doesn't have to be maintained. You can actually take the jumper off during the sequence. So it just needs a momentary signal to start it. All right, on the PLC itself, you want to make sure it says run. That's the biggest thing. And then to program it, the timers, hit the OK button and you'll see it comes up at program. Hit OK and you'll see the PLC program. And I'll, I'll map, I'll leave some documentation to map this out, but mainly TT1 is the time before the um, first solenoid, solenoid valve fires. This may not be necessary. If it isn't, you can put it at zero. Then just hit enter, and it comes up right now. It's at one second. If we go enter... We can now use our left and right keys and say uh, if you wanted one and a half seconds, you could change it up to one and a half and simply press enter. If you want to change it back, just use the left and right and up and down arrows, enter, and when you're finished, just hit escape. And again, make sure it's in run, the check boxes by run. If you happen to have a custom control panel you're looking to get built, please feel free to contact us. Here are some other custom control panel videos we have that you may find helpful. And YouTube thinks that you'll like these videos. Also, please hit the subscribe button. We put out at least one video a week. And if you find our videos helped you make some money, but you're not actually using our service, then please consider supporting us over on Patreon. Till next time.